And now, ladies and gentlemen, to begin our program of speakers, I would like to recognize and call upon the former Congressman Joe Diabordi for some remarks about a, an organization that he heads up, and it means a great deal to what we're trying to do here with the victims of communism. Mr. Diabordi, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Dr. Edwards and uh, Ed Priola and all of the people who had the foresight to not forget the victims of communism in so many countries. I feel very blessed to be here because I was in Congress in the 80s when I discovered that my father's roots, although he was born in Italy, came out of Albania. Albanians found my family speaking the Albanian language as well as the Italian language and I became their voice at a very difficult time as you know and as you know Don with Kosova and whatnot. Uh, Congressman Lantos and President George W. Bush did something wonderful here. In a way I feel blessed that Dana Rohrbacher, my good friend who's been here for all four years couldn't be here and ask me, in effect, to take his place. Annette Lantos, are you here? Yes. Annette, God bless you. I have to remind you, and I was hoping to see you before, but I got a little lost, so I couldn't prep you on that. But in 1989, the Berlin Wall came down. In 1990, Congressman Lantos, who had worked with me for four years on the issue of Albanian human rights, especially with the occupation of Kosovo with Slobodan Milosevic, uh, we managed to go across the border, the first ones in 45 years officially, across the border after we confronted Slobodan Milosevic about his brutal occupation at Kosovo, we went to Tirana, the first ones in 45 years. Little did I know that Congressman Lantos had already been at the CIA and they wanted our embassy back and we had to go there and visit it. I didn't know why until we came back. But Congressman Lantos, as eloquent as he was, I have to repeat his words. He confronted the successor to the most brutal communist dictator the world has known, at least to the Albanian people, and Vahoja. And he turned to Ramiz Aliyah and he said, the Berlin Wall is down. And yet you still have this wall of communism separating you from the Albanian people. Tear this wall down. Within, and that was June, late, early June, June 1st, 1990. Within weeks, Albanians were running to the embassies for asylum. Within a month or two, a boat loaded with thousands of Albanians came from the port of Duras, Albania, into Italy. That was the beginning. We started a movement, Annette. It was history. Now I'm going to ask you to join me and I don't know where the Albanian ambassador is he told me he would be here but I believe he's here with his staff and I'm gonna uh, appeal to ambassador Delange to start another movement it's been 22 years and the Albanian government has not apologized to the thousands of people in the worst internment camps other than the Nazis there has been no truth and reconciliation commission there hasn't been an opening of the communist archives there's a lack of trust. The Albanian word Besa, which means trust, is from the ancient code. That trust was broken by Enver Hoxha after the Albanians fought against Mussolini's fascists and then the Nazis. And then they were delivered into the hands of a psychopathic leader, Enver Hoxha, who tortured them, killed them, took away their communal spirit. He had families not trusting families, siblings not trusting siblings. And this went on for years. There needs to be some redress, and I'm hoping that 22 years later, the Albanian government will get the message that if they want to become part of Europe, and they're not there yet, Romania is part of Europe, Croatia is, Slovenia is, Serbia is on its way, where's Albania? You need to build a bridge back to the people, build the trust that was there for centuries, Mr. Ambassador, Prime Minister Berisha, so that Albania can be fully a part of Europe. Today we have with us two of the people who spent over 10 years in the worst prison, Spach uh, and Pelham Lumai, are you here? And Raymond Sieko. They, I know they're on their way down, but they were going to come and, and, and be here with us as well. So with that, 
I would say that this is a marvelous opportunity. Uh, let me just close by waving this to you at the reception. I have enough copies of this book. You'll see the Albanian flag and the Israeli flag because it's the Albanian people. I don't say it. Israel has said it. The only nation in Europe that saved every Jew in Albania, 400 families that were there from the burning of the Second Temple and the Spanish Inquisition, and 2,000 more who made it across the border from Yugoslavia where they couldn't trust the Nazis, but they could trust the Albanians uh, in, in Albania. And also, Shirley Ploys, my wife is here, she wrote a seminal article on not only the protracted fall of communism in Albania, but denial of memory. We have copies of that if you're going to be at the reception. God bless you all for being here. Thank you.